Hello to all my friends. Let us discuss how to run two-way ANOVA in JAMO. But before that, let us have a conceptual clarity about what is two-way ANOVA. On your screen, you can see that here we have captured the data where the number represents the whiteness of the float. That is, after washing with detergent and water, what is the whiteness of the float? Where the higher number indicates more whiteness in the cloth. So now we want to see that is there any significant difference in the whiteness of cloth according to the detergent. It is detergent A, B and C. This is the first thing which we want to check. The second thing is, is there any difference in whiteness of the cloth after washing according to the type of water that is a hard water or soft water. And the third thing which we want to check is, is there any interaction effects or not? Means when a particular water combines with a particular detergent, does it produce more whiteness in the cloth or less whiteness in the cloth or not? So if we are having two categorical variables and one continuous variable, then we will have three hypotheses. How? Let us understand. First, column wise, according to the detergent. Second, row wise. It is according to the type of the water. And third, the combination that the water combines with the detergent that is an interaction effect. Now we are having one example here. A toy distributor wants to determine which stores were the most successful in selling their stock. So the first independent variable is store type with three levels. Let us see the data in JAMA. Variety store, department store and discount toy store. So three types of stores are. The second independent variable with two levels and the dependent variable was the amount of toy sales per week. So this is a second dependent, uh, second independent variable, city central and suburban shopping center. They are independent. And our sales is a dependent variable. So the first thing which you want to check is, is there any significant difference in sales according to the location of the store? One. Second, is there any significant difference in the sales according to the type of the store? Two. And the third thing is, are there interaction effects or not? So how to run two-way ANOVA? Let's see in JAMO. So you will click in ANOVA. Click ANOVA here. Transfer sales to the dependent variable. Location in fixed factors. Type in fixed factors. Before running ANOVA, it is essential that you run the homogeneity test. Now we will have to interpret this thing. So I have simply copied this part in the word file here. So we will start writing the hypothesis. Our hypo research hypothesis is city central have good sales in toys in comparison to suburban shopping center. Departmental store have good sales in toys in comparison to variety store. Location and type of the store interaction will affect the sales of toy. I have converted my research question, which was this one. Does the type of store influence the sales of toys or not? Does the location of the store influence the sales of toys or not? Does the influence of the store type on toy sales depend on the location of store? This research questions have been converted into research hypothesis. Now I will convert this research hypothesis into the statistical hypothesis. There is no significant difference in sales of toys according to the location of store. The second is there is no significant difference in sales of toys according to the type of store. Third, there is no significant difference in sales of toys according to the interaction effect of location and type. Before we run to Vianova, it is necessary to establish the, it is necessary to run homogeneity of the variance test. This test, I have simply copied from here and pasted it. What is my null hypothesis in this test? All groups have equal variances. Alternative, all groups does not have equal variances. Now, as the p-value of Levin's test of equality is 0.446, which is more than 5% level of significance, we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that the groups have equal variances, which is desirable. This means that we can run a node. Now, 
These are the results of ANOVA. I will again copy these results in the Word file. And let us do the interpretation. The statistical hypothesis which we discussed previously, I have just pasted here. You will have to see the p-value of each categorical variable as well as the interaction. interaction. So the location, its p-value, type, its p-value, and this is for the interaction, location with type. You can see that the p-value of location is more than 0 0.05, this is more than 0 0.05, and this is less than 0 0.05. How will we write the interpretation? As a p-value of the variable, location is 0.26a, which is more than 5% level of significance, so we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that there is no significant difference in sales according to the location of store, as p-value is more than 0 0.05. Now, let us talk about the as the p-value of the variable of type of store is 0 0.072, this one, which is more than 5% level of significance, so we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that there is no significant difference in sales according to the type of store. Next is interaction. As a p-value of variable type of store and location of store is 0 0.03, which is less than 5% level of significance, so we reject null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant difference in sales according to the interaction of type of store and location. So the interaction effects are present. Now, what are the next thing which we should do? You should click on post hoc test and you can transfer location here. So it will generate the post hoc test for location type, location into type. Let's see that thing. I'll transfer location. And you can see here, city central is compared with suburban shopping center, but its p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore there is no such significant difference. See, you remember one thing. Here, location was insignificant and therefore that the post hoc also is insignificant. This is 0.268 and this is also 0.268. Now transfer type here. So you got the type was insignificant here. And therefore in this case, you can see variety store where compared with department store, its p-value is more than 0 0.05 means this pair is not significant. Variety store compared with discount toy store, not significant, p-value more than 0 0.05. Department store with discount toy store, 0 0.887, this is also not significant. Now let's see the location with type. And I, I'll simply copy this result in the word. Now there is one pair that is city central with discount toy store its p-value is less than 0 0.05. This means that this pair sales are significantly different from others. Now it can happen on both the sides. That is, this may be having a very less sales or very, you can say very high sales. So we will have to capture the means of this to say that is this combination uh, giving a good effect or a bad effect. Okay. So now I will go in estimated marginal means. I will transfer location here and type here. And it will give me the plots. You can see city central and city central. So this line is for discount toy store. City Central with the combination of discount toy store. It is uh, quite significant. City Central with discount toy store. So it, it generates more sales according to this graph also. But how much more? So click here in marginal mean step tables and you will get the result. So when discount toy store combines with City Central, the mean sales are 14. 
Similarly, when variety store combines with city central, the mean sales are three. So this combination is not good. The same thing you can confirm from here also. Suburban shopping center and uh, its combination with discount toy store gives less sales. City central with the variety store, this one, blue line, use very less sales. The best combination is city central with discount toy store and suburban shopping center with department store gives a good sales. So this is all about two-way ANOVA. For more videos on Jamovi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of Jamovi.